What's up guys, it's your boy Spark from Winter BK here, coming at you with a vlog. I'm playing Pokemon Go right now, and Articuno is about to spawn 8 minutes from here, and like, no, 8 minutes away right now. And it's pretty far, actually no, it's really close, but I knew it was coming, and I was cooking, <laughs> cooking lunch, so I had to ditch lunch to catch this fucking Articuno. <laughs> I don't know how many people are going to be there, but I'm going to vlog the whole time, and see if I catch it. I'm only level 16. I haven't played in so fucking long. I barely played like last year when it was all hype. Catch me. I really want to catch this Articuno, guys. Did anyone catch it? Anyone catch it? Caught it. You caught it? Can you see it? Oh yeah, damn, I see it. All right, we have one, one person caught it. We actually beat the Articuno, but I didn't catch it. I mean, I barely got back in. All right. Hours, three hours straight working out. I'm really sweaty. Even before this, I was working out. I had a mad workout today. Here playing Pokemon Go. We got a lot of people this time. This is way more than like two days ago of raid, but like we're here to catch Lugia. Even though Lugia is not a timed exclusive, people walking from one Poke Stop to another because it is only like less than 100, like no, like 500 feet away. So it's kind of interesting. All these people are like stopping their cars. They don't know what we're doing. <laughs> Extremely busy Poke Stop here. There's a mad amount of people. Like there's people even like walking up from every direction. Um, I just want to let you guys know that I have finally caught my first ever legendary Pokemon. Uh, I already left like the group, like it was back there, and like I was there for a while. But like, for uh, I haven't been vlogging this whole journey, but it took me like eight, nine, or ten tries. Um, and I actually been uh, going with the regular daily raid pass, but this time I actually spent five dollars and bought some premium raid passes, and that was my first ever time using one. And finally, I got a Zapdos. I didn't get Articuno, I didn't get Moltres, I didn't get Lugia. But I finally have a legendary Zapdos. I was so happy when I caught it. And some people there even like recognized me from other raids. I've been complaining, I haven't been able to get one. And it was like a big moment for me in like the Pokemon Go journey. Like, you know, a lot of people that I've seen in my um, like small little uh, city, uh, you know, right below LA, there's a lot of people that um, that I've seen at multiple raids and they've talked and some people even like made like uh, group chats and like friend groups um, like outside of even Discord. So it's a great community. Uh, the Pokemon Go community is actually really interesting. Some people have, like that uh, went there that they, they told me they've been in nine raids today alone, which that's a little too intense for me. I just kind of go whenever I see one, but I'm just so happy and like the community's back. It's an excuse for me to go out for a jog. I've been out for a lot more runs. I've been getting, I've been uh, go, getting eating, even eating a lot healthier. Like for lunch, I had a smoothie with chia seeds and spinach instead of just having like, like a lot of meat. And then I've been, uh, for breakfast, I've even been eating raw veggies. Like it's actually uh, really improving my lifestyle. And I really enjoy my Pokemon Go journey. Like this, this thing is amazing. I will be charting every single time I receive a legendary. Thank you guys, and honestly, this is, might be so intense, I might start interviewing other players and seeing their story, because this is really interesting. Thank you guys.